back everybody uh, this next entry in our toolkit is uh, really not that exciting not a lot of stuff going on here it really leads to another idea coming up in our next toolkit entry having to do with tangent ratio but it's an idea that we built on in class having to do with slope ratios so really the big part of this is to make sure that you get every single uh, angle down it's a, a slope triangle that corresponds with it and also make sure you have the correct slope ratio over here so uh, at different points, you may want to just pause and make sure you have everything copied down into your notebook. And really, the two big ideas are this. Uh, number one would be 40 at 45 degrees, the slope angle is, uh, or slope ratio, excuse me, there is one. So when our angle is 45 degrees, our slope ratio is one. If by chance our angle is greater than 45, like 55 or 68, you'll notice that the slope ratios are actually greater than one. And if our angle is actually less than 45 degrees, all our slope ratios are going to be less than 1. Also, you'll notice as we go from 0 degrees and we get higher and higher and higher in terms of uh, degrees here, our slope ratio will also increase as well. All the way up to, if you go all the way down to the bit bottom here, and like I said, you may want to pause it so you can get all these down in your toolkit here. And you'll notice here as you get up to 89 degrees, our slope ratio becomes nearly 58. So it certainly does increase, and as you get closer and closer to 90, it's going to start getting very, very big. And when it actually hits 90 degrees, it's impossible because the, the, the slope is, is immeasurable. It's not calcula calculatable at that point. So like I said, make sure you have all these entries, all these, all these uh, triangles into your toolkit, all the different slope ratios over here, and it leads to our next idea, and that's called tangent ratio. That's it.